for going our way, we'll journey further north and visit the beautiful country of Loch Leven in Scotland with its famous 13th century castle built on one of the seven islands in the loch. Though it was occasionally used as a royal residence, it was more often a prison and it looks well suited for that purpose. If the gaunt grey walls of Loch Leven could speak, they'd tell many a tale of breathless adventure. One of them would concern Mary, Queen of Scots, who in 1567 was imprisoned in the tower after her surrender at Carberry. With the help of one of her pages, she escaped a year later. On the shores of the island are the homes of many birds, and we were lucky enough to find the swan family at home. They say that Mrs. Swan, but shush, here's a man. Loch Leven is fairly teeming with trout and wanglers, uh, pardon, anglers. And you know, angling is a thirsty business. The honour of catching Loch Leven trout is so great that competitions attract anglers from far and near. So off they go on another tickling trip. And it's no fault of theirs if the trout don't laugh. As a matter of fact, the fish in this particular loch are worth a lot of tickling. And expert trout trappers will tell you that they're beautifully silvery and pink of flesh. It's all done by kindness and a little patience. And if you've got a little imagination as well, that'll come in useful afterwards. Where imagination isn't much use, 